Welcome back, everyone. Uh, this belt, I guess, has to be started. Oh, didn't like that. Not sure what just happened. Okay. Well, I just got into it and it started automatically. So I guess that's something to be concerned about. Okay, we'll let that go. <laughs> ah, here we go. Okay, so we have some new products to sell. Uh, metal. I'm going to need to load all this stuff. I don't know if this auto loads or not. I just realized that, so. Uh, yeah, and that was... I had a look at the map before I started the recording and I was wondering, where am I going next? What's the next thing? Uh, I feel like we need a production that uses that metal. So we're probably going to look into that. Maybe the barrels? Uh, we could certainly use another production. Um, there are some... Um, you know, the beams and the regular sized planks that we're generating and sell we're just turning around and selling them. Um, they are, they could be used in, in a few further production, so I think we might look at that. Obviously, the first thing we need to do is sell everything that we have. And, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to head back here. Uh, I think we're done with uh, trees down here uh, for now. And we're going to send this guy back up up to the top to continue our work up there. Everything else is going really well. Uh, we have a kind of a well-oiled machine going right now. You know, I made roads and I'm not even using it. Probably I didn't put it at the right place. Eh, oh well. Okay, we're just going to leave this guy here for now. Um, we got to work our way back up there. So I had that one pallet there that wasn't, uh, I guess it wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. So, uh, the auto loading. So I'm just going to actually try to just reload it and sell. I don't know why I didn't think of that. All right, let's go. Why don't we start with our, with the metal and we're going to see if that auto loads. I have a feeling, if I remember from running, playing on Silver Run, uh, that thing pumps out a lot of metal. It might be a few trips, so we'll see. If not, we're going to have to get our skid steer over here and do some manual loading. Oh. Let's see what happens. They're the same, technically, they're, they're the same pallets. But, uh, they won't auto load. Uh, let's see if we can switch. Quick bag, zero parallel overloaded. Let's try that. Nope. Let's try. It's definitely not bales. Barrel pallets, fourfold. Prefab walls, large wood pallets, doghouse pallet, metal pallet. How's that? There they go. Nice. Okay, this works. We can only take six at a time. So I don't remember how well these sell. Uh, so we'll, we'll check that out. I don't know why it only took six. There's room for at least another two. Basically, you know, I'm automatically assuming the only place I can sell them is this market here. We're just going to head right over there. Alright. Let's see what we get. We're at 16,000. Holy smokes. Okay. 
These productions are crazy. Making big money. Let's go get the rest of them. Uh, I think there was two more. I don't know if there was any more that were going to pop out. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, another 17,000. So they're about 8,500 each. Uh, 8,700 each ish. Um, let's have a look at productions and see what we can put in that would use that metal. Okay, most likely it'll be platinum expansion stuff. Uh, barrel factories will use the metal. Furniture will use the metal. Uh, 120, 110. Flooring, no. Oh, that's it. So it's going to be either barrel factory or furniture i think we're gonna go for furniture so i think we can use different types of planks with it so that will help a lot i believe so 110 i'm still short some money so let's oops let's go sell some of the rest of our stuff i'm not gonna sell the planks i think i'm just gonna sell these finished goods um, or right, turn that off and we want to go back to the Euro pallets. There we go. Okay. That it? I think it is. All right. The beams can probably sold be sold as well. Question is, where do we put that production now? All right, another 67. So we got 153. So I think I'm going to stick to the pattern and put the production back in here. Then we got to go switch that. Um, Iron Furnace to distribute. As you can see, this is going to be a heavy production, production based game here. All right, where are we? Uh, productions and we decided on furniture. It's in the back. So, I think maybe we'll plop it right in the middle. How would that be? Hmm. Hmm. No, I kind of want it. Oh, it's too bad it's in the back. Let's see, what does that look like? Yeah, I've decided I'm going to put it in the middle, believe it or not. We're going to use up the, some of our space here, so I think I'm going to put it right here. Give a little bit more room on the side of the sheds. There we go. And...
Okay. All right. So let's head to the iron furnace. Oops. Saving game. Saving game. Do not turn off your computer. Um, iron furnace. We're going to set that to distributing. The ore is in there. And um, we want to set the wood planks. Uh, regular planks will be set to distributing. Okay. And I had somebody recommend to me to continue the prefab walls. Uh, actually, okay, I see what's going on. All right, right, this is the new one. So we're going to activate planks. We will set... Um, we're going to get money trickling in with prefab walls. So we're going to activate everything. For this one, it not would be. For the first one, we will activate that, but we are going to set that to selling. Did I do that over here? Selling. And then our planks here and this one are going to go to distribute. And selling wood beam will be storing. I wonder if we should even make wood beams anymore. And we're going to activate that again, and doghouse will set to selling. Okay. Now we're going to be making all kinds of stuff. Uh, some of it's going to sell automatically, and some of it uh, will not. Now, um, I'm just going to activate the planks version here. Regular planks and, oh, this is getting complicated. Regular planks are distributing and regular planks are distributing. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. We just have to see if they actually, wait a minute. Okay, here, here. All right, all right, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just getting lost here. Okay. So we're going to see money trickle in. Uh, I am going to go get some of these planks and drop them in right away. Get things going a bit. Could have probably kept some of the iron as well. And we're going to get the weird thing. That's okay, though. Okay, I'm going to take three of them. Oh, I nearly fell off. Oh, why don't I just take three of them? My brain is not working today. I need them all. Okay. May have figured out this thing problem. Ooh. And then we have some beams that will just go sell, I guess. Alright. All our stuff will be sold. We still have some money left over. Oh, we still gotta fix that bump somehow. Okay, we got $57,000. Uh, let's check on our sheep, see how they're doing. 
They need more food. More food and they have no water. Didn't I just give them water? That's weird. Okay. Let's get some water deliveries done. I should probably pick up a large tanker. Um, I do have a truck that I can pull a large tank with. Hmm. How much do those cost? I don't even remember. That would be under animals. And, oh, that's not cheap. Not cheap. Um, no, I don't have that money, so we're going to have to do it the other way. Now, somebody commented in one of my videos, I believe it was on the uh, Pioneer Map series, that when you're on bridges, you can load water. Uh, no, I guess that's just for that, that map. Okay. Can't hurt to try, right? This looks good right here. I think. I'm getting a little worried. Oh, we got wool to deal with with as well. Now, how much water does this hold? Well, it's quite a bit. Quite a bit. Um, give me a minute. I'm going to do a couple of loads of this. And then we'll get on to some grass. We're going to dig into our new field here. We'll get that harvested up. Need some premium grass. Well fertilized and all that fun stuff. I think I might be able to get uh, course play to deal with that. I think. Not sure. It is time to expand our farm now. Um, we've got land that is not being used that could be productive. So we're going to add a little variety to our um, income model, I guess. Okay, so we did three deliveries of water. I went over and got the tractor. We're gonna see if we can get this going on uh, on our field. And get it, get it going with course play. I have it installed. Oh, I don't have it installed on this map. Oh, okay. Guess we're not doing that. That's okay. We can probably get away with a regular helper. Just need to be careful with the water, so we'll we'll need to do our our regular headlands. you guys doing today it's a beautiful beautiful week this week very warm weather I'm starting to get ahead of the game a little bit um, you will be seeing this episode on a Friday on Friday this week Um, 
second to last uh, Bloomfield episode went today as I'm recording this. It's Tuesday right now. And um, the last episode of Bloomfield will be next week. We're going to fill that spot with a second weekly episode of Maple. I say that as I'm recording, but, you know, things change, so who knows. Okay, I want to see what a worker does here. Might end up in the water. We'll find out. Oh, no. Worker does not cooperate with this. A regular worker does not cooperate with this. I guess maybe we need to change equipment. Oh, this is going to be long with this equipment. I'm going to do one load and I think we're going to go shopping to get something else. Nice to have a nice um, clothing Flooding mower um, and a nice, a nice forage wagon. Pick it up. There we go. Yeah, I think we're gonna save up for that. I don't know how much this is worth. Oh, why are you still in there? Okay, move that out of the way. Okay. So that's going to increase our food quite a bit. I got work to do here. Work to do here. We are up now to 300, 300 sheep. We're almost full. I guess we could probably start selling sheep as well. While we're waiting on that, let's have a look at uh, mowers. And there are some that swath. I think that, oh, that's expensive though. Uh, da -da -da. I believe this set here. Yeah, that'll swath. Okay, so that is 240 horsepower and $70,000. And a rear... Oh, no way. Oh, it's crazy. That is crazy. I could bail with this. Hmm. Heck, I could probably put a forage wagon on the back of this. The three point? I just really need a PTL. Low ball hitch. Three point high ball hitch. A pin hitch. This still has the PTO on there. I think we need pin. Oh, hang on a second, guys. What is this? That is a pin. Hmm. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. 
So that's 70,000 plus 21. So that's, um, that's going to be 80. Sorry, that's 70 because I've got the, uh, the feature on there. And then 21, so 91. And then if I were to get a um, forge wagon, I probably want something in the neighborhood of this, at least. Perhaps this. 150 horsepower, 100. So I need about 200,000 to make that happen. Gears are turning, gears are turning. Okay, I just didn't do that one load. I think we're gonna head down that road. Food is up there pretty high, water is pretty good. I think we're doing, we're doing good here. So, let's get our wool. We can't afford it today, so we won't, we won't do that today. Perhaps next episode. Come on. There we go. I nearly went to sell this. I don't want to sell it. I, want, I need it for our pet supplies. So the question now is, do we have a tractor powerful enough to do that? All right, so uh, we got a lot of stuff done. We just sold a lot of stuff. We got our new production up. Let me turn that off. We got things reorganized. Uh, the beams is still something I don't know what to do with, so and we can just continue selling them as is. And we have to get some more wood into the sawmills, probably. I can do all that off camera. Um, and then I think we're going to deal with our mower problem next episode. And we will start in on our new home. And uh, following that, um, you know, I'm kind of trying to project out here. Uh, probably we're going to get into some marable stuff afterwards. So we'll see. We'll see how this pans out. I do want to make this series very production oriented. So if we do arable farming, it'll be to feed productions. I want to... Just play that game for this for this map. Oh, and there's there's tons of opportunity here. So. All right, guys, that'll be it for this episode. Hope you're enjoying this. And um, if you are, please consider subscribing. I will catch you in the next episode, and I hope you have a great day.